Hey Sharon, what's up? What are you doing? Hi, I mean, I was feeling all touristy looking at the Eiffel Tower from all sides. It felt like I was strolling through Paris. Wow, that sounds amazing. And that's exactly what we were going to discuss today. Exactly, Ivy. I recall the days when bulky mainframe computers were considered cutting edge technology. And now we have this amazing ability to travel through alternative realities with devices like these. And the pace at which this technology is currently advancing never ceases to amaze me. So, to understand how all of this started and where things boomed, let's dive into the fascinating journey of computing. While the abacus invented around 2400 BC was a huge leap forward for humanity, our story picks up steam from the advent of mainframe computers in the 1960s. Imagine a computer so big that it fills an entire room, yet its computing power is less than your smartphone. That was IBM System 360, introduced in 1964. It revolutionized businesses around the world, including in India, by allowing them to automate tasks like billing and inventory management. Fast forward to 1971 and we got our first microprocessor chip by Intel. This tiny chip was a big deal. It's the brain of today's computers and smartphones. And then came a defining moment in 1975. In a garage in Albuquerque, Bill Gates and Paul Allen started Microsoft. While over in California, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak were laying the groundwork for Apple. The 80s brought us IBM PC with Microsoft MS-DOS and soon after Windows. It was a game changer by making computers accessible to regular folks and not just only to the scientists and corporations. And let's not forget the internet's role in all of this. In 1990, Tim Berners-Lee proposed a new application for the internet, the World Wide Web. It was like opening a treasure chest of information, connectivity and well, dog videos. By the mid-90s, internet was booming. Amazon started selling books online, eBay let anyone become a seller, and Hotmail gave us free emails. These were the signs of digital age truly taking over. And then in 2007, Apple introduced the iPhone. It wasn't just a phone, it was like a mini computer in your pockets. It combined a phone, an iPod, and an internet communicator all in one. Since the launch of iPhone in 2007, the pace of innovation and technology has been nothing short of breathtaking. Just three years later, Steve Jobs introduced the world to the iPad, transforming our expectations of what a portable device can do. And let's not overlook the impact of the Raspberry Pi in 2012. This tiny but powerful device made programming and digital creation accessible to millions, sparking a wave of innovation in tech education and DIY projects. Jumping ahead to 2016 and the world met Sophia, the humanoid robot with a citizenship. This wasn't just a leap in robotics. It was a glimpse into a future where humans and AI could coexist and interact on a whole new level. From mainframes to smartphones, it's clear that we have come a long way. But there is a trend here. As technology gets more compact, it's getting closer to our eyes closer than ever. And amidst all of the change in 2012 entered the Oculus. Farmer Lucky introduced the concept and the first test series of the Oculus Rift and the Oculus Touch controllers. His Kickstarter campaign took the internet by storm by raising $2.4 million, 10 times the intended target of just $250,000. By 2014, they added an extra camera for tracking, making PC VR even more immersive. And you know what's interesting? Facebook acquired Oculus for a whooping $2.4 billion that year. Facebook saw the potential, huh? Indeed, they've come a long way from that. They released the Oculus Go, a standalone VR device, and then the Quest 2, which can be used as standalone or tethered with a PC. And get this, in October 2021, Facebook rebranded itself as Meta, signaling their focus on the Metaverse. After the rebranding, the Meta has continued to push the boundaries of virtual reality with Oculus at the forefront. And let's not forget about the Meta Quest 3, which was released on October 10, 2023. It delivers a sleeker, more comfortable VR headset with improved graphic and superior performance than the Meta Quest 2, alongside touch controllers. It truly transforms our reality. 
allowing us to step into the immersive worlds limited only by imagination. It's not just a piece of technology, it's a portal to infinite possibilities. It's wild, right? From our clunky machines to tech, that's practically in our eyeballs. We're living in the future, folks. So, what's next? As we integrate technology even more deeply into our sensory experiences, how will our relationship with the digital world evolve? Also, you heard about the Apple Vision Pro launch, right? It's like having a virtual assistant right in front of our eyes. Agreed. The future of computing is not just about the technology we create, but how it reshapes our lives, our society, and even our perceptions. With AI, quantum computing, and now immersive devices like the Oculus, we're not just looking at a new era of computing. We're stepping into a whole new dimension of human experience. It's an exciting time to be alive, witnessing and participating in these groundbreaking developments. Well, one thing's for sure. The journey of computing from mainframes to the threshold of virtual reality has been a reflection of human creativity and ambition. And as we look towards the future, the possibilities are limitless. And we would love to hear your thoughts on this. Where do you think we are headed with technologies like this? Drop your questions and experiences in the comments sections below. And remember, if you enjoy diving into the future with us, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel. And we might even feature them in our next video. If you'd like to talk about what we discussed and connect with like-minded people in the world of immersive medium, join our Discord community. Click on the link in the description below. This is a great place to share your thoughts, learn from others and stay ahead of the curve in the world of technology. Thank you for watching. And let's continue to explore the endless possibilities of technology together. One, One pixel, pixel at a time. time.